Like we always do with this time I go for mine, I get to shine Now throw your hands up in the sky Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get the Mac OS X theme for your computer. And it's going to have the little Apple sign up here for your start menu. And then when you open up a window, here I'll just open up this. It's going to have these dots right here. And this one right here will be the maximize and minimize button and that's going to be green. But this doesn't have it. And then when you minimize it, you'll be able to minimize things to your rocket dock and so first what you want to do is go to your internet then when that loads you want to go up here and you go to www.interfacelift.com I'll have the link in the description of this video and you go over here to themes and then you make sure that it's on Microsoft Windows not on Apple because if it's on Apple it's not going to work so you click on Microsoft Windows and then you scroll down these are just other themes that you can get and so you go to the scroll down go to second page okay and it's this one right here smooth stripes 4 and so you click on download with win in parentheses so you click on that and then this is gonna pop up and you're gonna need winrar to download this file so if you don't have that go to download.com and type in winrar then download it so save it onto your desktop click on save and then you can minimize this or close this and do whatever. Okay, so then you should have got this icon right here on your desktop. So you right click on that and extract here. And you should have got this folder right here. So you click on that folder and open it up. And then you should have got these four things right here. And click on smooth stripes 4 not the one with wind flag just smooth stripes 4 and then it's gonna take you to your appearance with the SS4 that's what it calls it and then you can change change it change the themes or I mean the colors so see if I go to graphite it's gonna change these buttons right up here to gray but I like the normal one the this is it the SS4 Panther that's what the Mac has so you click on apply and you click OK and you can exit out of that and if you wanna have your normal theme back then just right click properties and theme and change it back to your theme and then once you get it you're gonna want to right click on your taskbar it's probably gonna be right here and so you right click on that and you choose unlock the taskbar and so then it's gonna be down here so you click on it and you just drag it up and then you choose right click lock the taskbar and then another thing you want to do is get this rocket dock right here and to get that watch my video how to get the apple toolbar that's this and then when you get it you wanna right click on it and go to dock settings and for the theme I have Vista Black that looks pretty good you could get that too and then go to general and minimize windows to the dock so 
like if you have a page open like I'll open this up huh. maybe I have to cancel out of this I'll show you that after this and go to style actually go to behavior and auto hide no don't want that actually let me find it here layering right here under position go to layering and choose always on the bottom and that's all you need to do with that so you can click OK and then if you're Rocket Docs over here or to the right you know just right click on it screen position bottom okay now this is what I'm gonna show you about minimizing the things to the dock so I have this opened so then when I minimize it it minimized it right here so that's kind of like the apple that's a cool thing and then if you want to get this background then go to the link in the description and once you open it it'll be a google image page once you open it just right click on it choose set as background and that's it and if you change your theme back to like your old microsoft xp theme or whatever your vista theme and then you go to right click properties and appearance and it's not there so the only way to get it is by going into your smooth stripes folder and let me get out of this going into your smooth stripes folder and then clicking on this now if you don't have your folder or any of that stuff you can just drag this smooth stripes out and then you can delete these two things excuse me I got it cold and you delete these two things and then this just put it into a folder and I've already done that so then once you put it in the folder then you can delete it and then you'll have the clean desktop with it and I can't take all the credit this actually I was shown how to do this by tutorials too you can check out his channel subscribe to him but thanks for watching Bye.